we have the poet populist of Cambridge from 2009 to 2011, Jean Dani Joachim. He writes poetry, short stories, and completed a play, Your Voice Poet, in 2010. He will be reading from his newly published collection of poetry, Crossroads, published in 2013. He is the director of City Night Readings, a series featuring diverse poetic talents, writers, and artists. His work has been published in numerous international and national anthologies and magazines. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to both of our talented writers for this evening. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for this celebration of poetry. Thank you all friends, new friends, old friends, friends of writing, friends of Cambridge. Thanks for being part of this tonight. It's a celebration of writing and it's a celebration of the Creole language tonight, the poetry of Haiti. This book, Crossroads Chimekwazi, that I, I present to you today is a bilingual collection. I will read in both languages, English and Haitian Creole. But tonight, especially, I, uh, I wanted to read text that writing that I did here, thinking of Haiti during my life here in Cambridge. First thing first, let's, uh, we have the official poet populist of Cambridge here, Lo Galusio, she is here. Thank you, Lo, for being here. Uh, and we also have the former poet populist of Cambridge, Tony B, who is here. Thank you. And thank you again, Cambridge Public Library, for this. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you. The sun smiles no more. The sky spends its days crying. No one asks what's wrong. Soleil si souri. Si elle l'a fait jour, elle a crié. Personne ne va dire rien. My country comes from the water's belly. Nobody knows its winds better, its changing moods. It is with the waves which come to tickle its feet that it learns to dance. It is also its mirror to arrange its makeup or ascertain what's left. The devastated mountains, its disappearing trees, its blouse wide open to the sun. And in the evening when the sky is celebrating, from there come its glimmers of color. But when the wind wants it its way, and makes war against the clouds, when all the waters in the sky plunge down towards my little corner of land, and when the waves war around it, it trembles and feels betrayed. The water rips off its clothes, takes away its children, twists its guts, and washes away its tears. The country I come from comes from the water's belly. My country knows the water's joys and its contents and its contents. Magic and the sea. I was 13. I do not remember exactly how I heard by chance this conversation 
of a neighbor talking to one other about the sea. Seven times, seven times, he said in a whisper, then you must turn your back to it. In no case shall you go back. I slept badly that night, already thinking of the daybreak. The next morning, I pushed my 13 years old feet as fast as they could run, for I had to return home before my aunt woke up. The sea was waiting for me, calm and wise, with all its magic and its secrets. Sure of myself, like a true master sorcerer, I offered my apprentice's body to the sea for seven shot of waves, for seven shot waves. Immigrant, I am from the ocean. I am from sugar cane. I am from writing poetry. I am from happiness. I am words with no curves. I am the mainland with no boundaries. I am hope tainted with shadow. I am heavy rain. I am here. I am now. I am staying. Immigrant. Mse petit lame. Mse petit chankan. Mse petit poesi. Mse ti nan trip la joa. Mse pa wal grand chapeau m pa gen lizye. Mse l'espoir kan balon braille. Mse tempet la pli. Mse kounye ya. Mse sawe ya. Mpa fe on pa kita. On pa na go. Immigrant. Depart. My city didn't wave as I went through the door. The sun strolled by the moon, neither one looked back. Cautious, my mother watched from afar as I passed checkpoints. My steps pounded in her heart. The city stared in silence, her eyes the beacon of my trip. A sight breeze caressed the leaves and held the thoughts of the trees. The ground quickly drowned each drop, each drop of my mother's tears. I didn't take off my hat. Deeper. Curfew. Before dawn, the carnage started. My city fainted. Heavy machines sneak in and seize the roads. The stones, the stones howled, and the houses, the beds, the windows, the tables shivered, shivered, and shrunk, shrunk, and dark came again. The air stopped breathing. Perfect. I have learned uh, through those years that writing away, if you have to live away from the country you call home, uh, it's something that can take all your art as writing, if you know, if you want to write. I wanted tonight to present something about Haiti, then I realized, God, all my life in Cambridge, I, only, I mostly wrote about Haiti. Perhaps it's because Haiti is as it is, but. A song for both people. A song for both people. And the writing, as I was listening to Tonton Guy, you know, each piece of writing is connected to an event. You know, whatever title I put here to read, I can remember that that story, that something. I wish they could just be love stories, you know? Walking down the street, Central Square, massive meeting, those beautiful people you see there. We have to write about Haiti, you know? We are witnesses. So. A song for both people. Helpless, the ocean witnessed big boats grabbing them like pack of wandering fish. The day they were returned, it wept and howled for their soul. 
The waves wash up her tears and the wind muffle her cries. A father holding his infant's hand walking down through the crowd. Each night, their feet dance in my sleep to the music of the waves, the lament of the wind. Old people. And then there is lost memory, lost memory. I do not recall the evening when these guys storms besiege my city. The loudspeakers did not announce the sinister order. I do not remember which way went the stars to escape the mutiny. I still awake at night with the cries of children, howling of mutilated dogs, sobbing of trampled virgins. And then there is the poem you write because you're sitting here living in a country where things seem so organized and thinking about the other country when you were born and in hope for things to be organized. And I wrote, on the other side of happiness. On the other side of happiness, there is a land and its people born in adversity. A story torn by treason. They are the gods who fled before too many prayers. There is nature, sweet and mild at times. The sun that dries, this land that drinks its blood, the stars that kept away more and more, the moon that wobbles. There was a woman and her love her husband who thinks he is God and challenges the future. They are the children who grow up too fast and hurt themselves with the burden of life. On the other side of happiness, words lose their true meaning. They are all these roads ahead. They are still the people that forgetting themselves as time passes. There is reason that lost face, there is friendship tied up, there is this much we think we know and all that we ignore. On the other side of happiness, death goes without mask. Life is aborted. There is love that is control. Joy is upset. There are so many hands that never touch each other. On the other side of happiness, everything goes the wrong way. On the other side of happiness, there is hope. The next few poems I will read uh, actually, before that, something you know, you live here, but you try the best to be part of the society that you belong to. For 25 years, you live in a place that's your country, right? But there is one that is playing in your head in whatever you do. I had an experience last night. I was teaching a class of basic English as a second language. And then during the introduction, and in my class, I have students from uh, Bangladesh, from Ethiopia, from Brazil, from Costa Rica, from all over, and of course there was a woman from Haiti. One of these exercises I had them to do often when I teach this level is to, you know, let's talk. Let's introduce each other. Let's say who we are, where we're from. And of course I brag. My name is Jean-Dany Joachim. I live in Cambridge, you know, and this beautiful city. I work at Bunker Hill and then for them to follow. And I've been here for so and so years. And when it was the turn of my fellow Haitian student, a woman, I would say, of early 30s, perhaps. As she was doing the introduction, and I, the teacher, I lost it. I heard this voice with her calm, as much as she could, saying, I had two children. Now I have one. Oh. And then she's trying to find words to say earthquake, to tell the other students, that her oldest son died in the earthquake. I, 
I was supposed to be the teacher. But at that moment, that got too close. You know, I, I, I started to do a little dance. You know, you don't have to cry in public. You're a teacher. You're a man, like they say. But God, it's, it's hard to be a man in front of those things, right? So, anyway, I read those few poems. They belong, the first one belonged to a very close friend of mine. Do you know this song? Vivi, do, do, la, charme, do, vivi. Vivi, do, do, la, charme, do, vivi. Afternoon. It is in the afternoon that I feel sad when the sun departs too early and the moon with the stars drag to arrive. My thoughts turn into a storm too heavy to fall and I can, all I can do is to lay low until tomorrow arrives. Afternoon for Magali Maslen. It is in the afternoon that I feel sad when the sun departs too early and the moon with the stars drag to arrive. My thoughts turn into a storm too heavy to fall. All I can do is to lay low until tomorrow arrives. Après midi. C'est les après midi tristes. Le soleil là le couche trop vite. Un peu tout. La ligne n'a pas été mise pour parler. Réflexion me tourne en tempête qui passe à blaye. Tout ça me café, c'est mon riz pour le moins. Je vais vous dire après midi. This next poem is for a friend who, the first Haitian person I met when I came here involved in organizing cultural events, doing drummings, poetry, music, everything for the community. Aileen Well is the first one I met. Actually, this is not a poem. I'm going to read a letter we exchanged. Once he visited Haiti. This is not my word, that it is word. He used to live in Finland, and then he was visiting Haiti after one of those catastrophes, the place of catastrophes, and we were exchanging letters. He wrote me something, and then I wrote something to him because he said, man, it's great for, as long as there's somebody writing, there's an artist singing, there's somebody painting, there is hope. And then at the end, almost he wanted to apologize, he said, I still wake up in the morning sometimes with waters and, you know, with tears in my eyes. So then I wrote him this little one in, in Creole that says, let me read it and then I'll tell you what it says in English. Réponse pour Eli. Zami, Zami, pas monter barricade pour de loger ou l'on envie couler n'importe qui l'est. C'est l'ic pour laver pour ses chagrins. Lick pour vous et bougeons l'espoir. Nous même avec Blo dormi collé. Nous même avec Blo, c'est gardé à quoi. Tout fait ma dichon pour accident la vie qui fait le pédi courant. Vin valkan en sous route non. Tout fait ma dichon pour tempête vent qui fait le ratiboisé. I was telling him, my friend, don't feel shy to cry. Don't feel shy, you know, to let your tears run down when that time comes to do it. We have this special relationship with water. Too bad that sometimes it can be a disaster that hurt us. So that's my word for it. I, I spent a lot of time when I was in Haiti reading the Bible. And once I was kicked out of school and I read the whole New Testament and that opened a big door for me, I said, uh, you know, if I'm bored, they send me out for 15 days, let's read. And I found a copy of the New Testament, and God, I, that was great. 
And I find myself very fond with the with Judas, Judas Iscariot. I've been thinking about this man, you know, since I was a kid. And now being a father, I imagine being a father of such a person. <laughs> yeah. And I wrote this poem, and I hope there are some people here from the church who've been going to the first church in Cambridge. No? Yes, okay. So I'll read Judas Iscariot for you. Yeah. Judas Iscariot. I am the father of the son who must betray the son of God. Eternity will praise the death of the creator's son and his name will be sanctified. He will be resurrected. And me, I will cry in the dark the sacrifice of mine. Thus prophecy, prophecy wants it. Forever they will say his name with scorn. And for humanity's salvation and the greatest glory of God, I mourn my sacrifice in the shadow of a tree. I mourn my sacrifice in the shadow of a tree. I did write this poem in French, so it sounds better. Let me read it to you. <laughs> Judas Iscariot. Je suis le père du fils qui doit livrer le fils de Dieu. L'éternité louera la mort du Fils Créateur et son nom sera sanctifié. Il sera ressuscité. Et moi, je pleurerai dans l'ombre le sacrifice du mien. Ainsi le veut la prophétie. À jamais on dira son nom avec dédain. Et pour le salut de l'humanité et la plus grande gloire de Dieu, je pleure mon sacrifié dans l'ombre de l'âme. Judas Iscariot. Thank you, friends, for being here. The party is not over. <coughs> we'll sit here, we'll talk about writing, we will read more, and life is good. And also, we have books. <laughs> Danny Son.
course, at that time, you all know what you were talking about. You learn to develop a language to tell your story when you can be in danger for speaking your own language. So it was uh, in the year of 1980, at the end of the dictatorship of the Tuvalu, so things were a little bit harsh. Chaplain, your camionette tap tap to ye, your chaplain, take it on. Your camionette tap tap to ye, your chaplain, take it on. Your camionette tap tap to ye, your chaplain, take it on. Qui fout ma chaplain? Est-ce que c'est moi qui te plein de chien? Qui me l'a ma camionette tap tap, car si ma gueule en mot? Qui me l'a moi? Et un paquet de chaînes plein tous les jours sur route là. Et un paquet de camionnettes sous fiel la vie qui va jamais quitter les chaînes et pas. Et un pile de chaînes qui va jamais plein. Et un pile l'autre qui va jamais mettre bas. Et ça même qui toujours tête bas. Et un paquet de chaînes qui passe trop près de camionnettes. Ce n'est pas normal pour les camionnettes tous les chaînes plein. Les chaînes plein ne pas de mourir tout fait. Il y a un pile chien qui pète, il y a un pile chien en fouraille, il y a un pile chien qui le il y a un pile chien dépaysé, il y a un pile chien plein de nez, tout chien qui plein de l'espoir, tout chien qui plein de porter ma race à la victoire, tout chien qui plein de jouer les vies, tout chien plein de la parole, cap jamais s'arrêter, chien plein de trois pésos, zo yo bouquet soucé, zo bouquet chien, zo pète de la parole, zo pèlin. Zo piga serein, zo gaye sevel, zo entotye. Ye an pil chen plen an bachal, kapten la li nouvel, pou komanse jape, pou yo pran ouke, ouke reveye nan tout lot chen plen, kam nen tap tap kraze nan kal fou lan man, nan kal fou mal. Gen chen ki pa vle kwe yo plen, yo pati kat pie gaye al krimine bo galet, pou chache sous lo, ki pon pete bo dizye. Yo fin perdi tout plim la vi nan chan kraye an baravin, bayaron, ak pikan kwenna. Chen sa yo pa vle kontri ak kamionet tap tap. Men yo pa jan mou ka fe men pou piege yo. Pou se, pou se pa sou eskwa de kamionet tap tap ka karan mori sou tet la vi chen ben ka pase nan rel vi. Gen an vil chen pa jan mou plen ka kondi kamionet. Gen an pil kamionet tap tap. Ak an pil chen ki pa plen, kamionet oto minuit, kamionet san si yal ak chen ki pa jam se ye jape. Chen ki tro ki rel yo pou klakson kamionet tap tap. Chen ki pa plen, ki van ke yo pou fe la so pou mari tout lot chen plen. Yon pa ket chen gati ras ki mele nan mitan lot chen pou fe ou pou ba jam jam e tet mou. Se pa normal, se pa normal pou kamionet tap tap. So this poem, it goes. Thank <laughs> you. 